Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do um, a reading for Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, this is your weekly reading for this week. So, um, Divine Masculine, please keep in mind that this reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time it is fluid, so this reading can manifest this week. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or Divine Masculine, this present reading could be past an energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, Divine Masculine, I didn't get any messages for you during the pre-shuffle. So, I'm going to show you what's at the bottom of the decks that I'm using. Um, and I would have done y'all reading like earlier this morning. So it could have been like up, uploaded earlier, but um, I had to um, get myself together before I tapped into y'all energy. I had to get like some unwanted energy off off of me before I tapped into, tapped into y'all energy. So I just wanted to be, I guess, be fair. I wasn't going to do a recording and I know my energy was off, so... I had to get myself together and wait for things to clear up in my energy before I tapped into y'all energy or did y'all read that. All right, so I had to pause the reading. So at the bottom of this that we have candles magic. So Divine Masculine, you or somebody else could be doing some type of candle magic. Divine Masculine, if this is not you, be mindful, Divine Masculine, because somebody could be doing candle magic over you. And then we have actual angels at the bottom of this deck. We have detective at the bottom of this deck. It says great powers of op observation and intuition. Desire to seek out the truth. That shadow aspect of this detective energy is voyeurism, falsifying information. But it's in the upright, so I'm going to take the light attribute. Great powers of observation and intuition. Desire to seek out the truth. Then, um, what other deck am I using? Yeah, this one right here. And then we have Strawberry Spring. So, something could be sweet for you, Divine Masculine, this week. Divine Masculine, you might be drinking champagne this week with, like, strawberries in it or, like, strawberry flavor. Some type of champagne, some type of celebration. Divine Masculine for you. Then we have at the bottom of this deck, we have Rainbow Blessings. Blessings are showering your life. So, Divine Masculine, you could definitely be going to, like, a celebration or something. I just heard a bar a, a bar mitzvah. Or, Divine Masculine, you could have had your bar mitzvah in the spring or something. Or somebody's doing that this week. Blessings are showering your life. And I heard a bar mitzvah. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but that's what I heard. So, Divine Masculine, I just heard in this card that something that was promised to you in the past, whether you're aware of this promise or not, something that was promised to you or something could be a part of your life path or your a soul contract or something concerning your archaic records, Divine Masculine, something might manifest this week for you. It was a promise or it's something concerning like a soul contract or something. Blessings are showering your life. Divine Masculine. And I heard it's a promise. And you're probably not even aware of this promise. It could be because of something in your birth birth chart, Divine Masculine. It could have something to do with your birth birth chart. Something that was bound to happen because of um, something going on with your birth chart. Certain placements, placements in your birth chart. And then we had the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> I just also heard, too, it can be because of planetary alignments. Some type of promise is coming forth, is manifesting for you this week, Divine Masculine, because of the plan the planetary line alignments this week is helping it, is a in, in the manifestation process. That's what I'm hearing. So the planetary alignments this week, Divine Masculine, is aiding in the manifestation of um some blessings being showered in your life, Divine Masculine, this week. And then we got the first house. One sense of identity, how they express themselves, their first impressions, they give off. So, what's the first house? I think it's Aries. I'm not sure. 
Let me see. Yeah, Aries is the first house. So the white mask, when you can um have Aries in your chart, or you an Aries. All right, so let me jump into the reading. So let me go ahead and pull. I'm going to pull your overall energy. Let's see what's crowning you. What's the Divine Masculine's overall energy? Okay. Okay, we have Messiah. So it came out in the upright. So Divine Masculine, this is your overall energy. And it's saying, the light attribute of this energy is serving humanity with humility. And I just heard Masonic. So Divine Masculine, you could be Jewish or something, Divine Masculine. I just heard Masonic. Serving humanity with humility. So Divine Masculine, I don't know what um type which uh what type of Jew you are. I don't know if you could be like an Orthodox a Orthodox Jew or you a Jew that um believes in Yeshua. I'm not sure, Divine Masculine. Cause some I know I know some Jews they still don't believe in like uh, Jesus they don't believe in certain things so if I'm asking I don't know if you like a or I don't even know if that's the right word to say an Orthodox Jew or you're a believing Jew or something like that. All right, so what what do I want to do next? Okay, so let me pull a card for you. All right, give me a message for Divine Master. All right. So we have familiar, guardian. So Divine Master, you could have an angel or an ancestor around you this week. Somebody that's familiar. So this could definitely be an ancestor. Divine Master, you have a guardian around you. Something, something or somebody that's familiar, familiar to you. And also the black cat could be like intuition as well. I also just heard like a deja vu. Divine Masculine, you might have a deja vu um, this week. Because it could be a guardian around you. And Divine Masculine, when you have this deja vu, you know, you're going you gonna to say to yourself, that's familiar. And Divine Masculine, it could be because... Um, you have a guardian around you, an angel or an ancestor. Something that's very familiar to you, or you might have a, a deja vu. Divine Masculine, you could be um, a Capricorn as well, or you could have Capricorn in your chart. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I did Capricorn's um, mid-July reading. And um, the energy that I was picking up in Capricorn's mid-July reading was the de deja vu. That's one of the cards that came out for Capricorn, deja vu. So if I'm asking, you might experience some, uh, uh, something like a deja vu because it's like an angel, a guardian, or your ancestor around you. And it's, it feels very familiar to you. Yep. Yeah. So something familiar or divine masculine, you're somebody else's guardian. So divine masculine, I don't know if you could be getting your son prepared for his bar for or something like that. Divine masculine, you could be somebody's father and y'all Jewish. You're somebody else's guardian. And divine masculine, you could be like reminiscing because your son could be preparing for his bar mitzvah. And it's making you reminisce about your when when you had to go through the process as well. Something like that going on. All right. So give me a message for Divine Masculine for this week. All right. Two came out. Divine Masculine, you could also be a Gemini dealing with a Gemini. Or you got Gemini in your chart. Because when two cards come out like that, I automatically um, pick up on Gemini energy. Okay, so I'm not going to take that because take that it came out in reverse. So to my masculine, something could be a little bit bittersweet for you as well this week. Something could be bittersweet. All right, give me a message for Divine Masculine. I'm not going to take that card because it kind of came out in reverse. Okay, we have staying focused. Yeah, Divine Masculine. Um, Divine Masculine, I'm also picking up if you're considered like somebody's guardian. 
This could be spiritually. This guardian could be telling me, Divine Masculine, you're somebody's father. Or you're dealing with your father. Or this could be spiritually. A guardian of the 5D. Divine Masculine, this could be you or somebody else. But somebody is like, don't want to do something. Or somebody could be going through depression. Or somebody is sad. So it's like Divine Masculine. This could be a situation. I'm going to give this for an example. Say like somebody is preparing for their bar mitzvah. And Divine Masculine, you could be the father. You're the guardian. You're the father. It's like Divine Masculine, your son don't want to do it. He could be dragging his feet. He like, Daddy, why we got to do this? I don't want to do this. This is boring. It's like Divine Masculine, you got to stay focused. Even though your son could be like complaining. Or his spirit is like pulling down your spirit. Your child could be giving you a hard time. They don't want to cooperate. They could be asking a lot of questions. Um, maybe even like um, hurling insults about the faith. Or, you know, kids, you know, um, like being sarcastic. Divine Masculine, your child could be being very sarcastic about, you know, y'all, uh, what you call it, rituals or... Um, the repetition of something. Something is very uh, repetitive. You got to keep doing something. So your child could be being very sarcastic. And um, it's like Divine Masculine. You're like tempted to give up. Because somebody else is like resisting. That's It's like the energy I'm picking up on is Divine Masculine. Say like you're walking your child. And you're walking at a certain pace. And it's like your child is. You holding your child hand. And it's like they're like pulling you. Or you can't walk as fast as you want to walk because the person who's holding your hand, they don't want you to walk walk that fast. Or they're like resist. Somebody's resisting you. It's a little bit of resistance. So the my masculine, in spite of some type of resistance, or somebody that could be um, not as mature as you, the my masculine, you gotta stay focused and like uh, stay focused on the task at hand. It say hold the course. Hold the course, stay in focus, and then hold the course. So something like that going on. Divine Masculine, whatever you're doing, whether you're Jewish or not, Divine Masculine, whatever you're doing, you might have to stop what you're doing and focus on something else. And then go back to what you what else? Go back to um what you was doing. So, for example, Divine Masculine, say like you outside and you fixing up at, you fixing up on your car. It's like Divine Masculine, you outside, you at home, you in a garage, and you fixing on your car. And it's like Divine Masculine, something is going to distract you from fixing your car. Your wife could be in the house. She's having a moment. She could be having a temper tantrum. The kids might have a temper tantrum. It's like Divine Masculine, you're doing something, but you have to... You're staying focused because it's like Divine Master, I'm picking up. You, you're going to end up having to multitask. You're going to be pulled from one situation to another situation. But both situations are important. So it's like you're staying focused, but you're going to have to hold the course. Like you're going to have to put something on hold to attend to something else or give somebody else your attention. Divine Masculine, while you're fixing on your car, you're going to get distracted. You might have to go in the house and, and um, like, console your wife or console your child or reassure your wife or reassure your child of something. And then it's like, Divine Masculine, when you did get done with that, you make sure this person okay. Then you go back outside and finish fixing on your car. Because it's like both things is important. So you're going to have to hold the course or something like that. All right, so all right, so I'm gonna put you an angel answer for this week as well, divine masculine, and then we have magic oracle protection at the bottom of the deck. So divine masculine, whatever this is, you're protected this week. Whatever this is, some type of protection. You or somebody else, divine masculine, is protected. Divine masculine, I also just heard that um. Somebody's kids could be going off to college. They're leaving home. 
they're leaving home and divine masculine um i don't know your faith i don't know what you do to um to uh apply protection over your life i don't know your faith i don't know your rituals but divine masculine you you have protection um this week so whatever you do concerning your faith practices you might um do some type of protection um this week and it's going to take effect so for, i heard for some of you guys somebody's kids is leaving for college yeah something like that all right so what's the divine masculine's answer for the angels from the angels what's the divine masculine's angel answer what is the angel's answer to the divine masculine for this week All right, yeah, it came back out. We have weight. So wait. So do I ask when you know more than me? Your angel answer for you this week, the angels is telling you to wait. Um Divine Masculine, I'm picking up Divine Masculine. Either you're somebody's guardian or somebody else is your guardian. But it's two people here. And one person is like weaker or they're younger or they're they're not as mature. Or divine masculine, you could be dealing with your angel or ancestor and you're a human and they're not. So it's, it's like somebody got to have mercy on the other one because they're not on the other person's level. So divine masculine, I don't know if you have to wait because of your angel or ancestor or your intuition could be telling you to wait. Or your angel or ancestor is going to make you wait. Because you're probably not ready for something. Or something like that. Or it's probably not the right time. So your intuition could be telling you to wait. Or an angel is going to make you wait. Or your ancestor is going to make you wait. Or divine masculine. Somebody going to tell you to wait. And if somebody tell you to wait for something. Divine masculine. It was it's, it's meant to be. Because that's what your angel is saying. They want you to wait for whatever this is. <clears throat> Divine Masculine, you could be praying for something. You're trying to manifest something. And um, this week, the answer is to wait. So Divine Masculine, the answer is not no. The answer is wait. So Because you could be in the process of manifesting something. Or you're waiting for answers or something like that. But, um, did I pull, I'm trying to think if I pull, um, I'm going to pull it just in case. I think I pulled one for Divine Feminine's reading. Divine Masculine, I'm going to pull one card for you, for you from this deck right here to see what you can expect in love and romance. This deck right here. I think I pulled from this deck for Divine Feminine. I'm not sure. But I'm being guided to pull one for you, for you Divine Masculine. So, I'm going to pull one. All right. What can Divine Masculine expect in love and romance this week? What can Divine Masculine expect in love and romance this week? Oh, true love. So, Divine Masculine, this week you can expect true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So if I'm asking, this is what you can expect in love and romance, true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. All right, so that's a good one. I think Divine Feminine got soulmate. That's what I think Divine Feminine got soulmate. So Divine Masculine, you really love your Divine Feminine. Whoever your lover is, you really love um, your Divine Feminine. This is true love. It's true love. So that's what you can expect. Or Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine truly loves you. Or Divine Masculine, you want to be reassured that the Most High loves you and the Most High do. It's true love. Alright, so what's going on with Divine Masculine this week? 
What can Divine Masculine expect? What do Divine Masculine need to know for this week? All right, we got the Three of Wands. Divine Masculine, you or somebody else could be a fire sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign or you got fire in your chart, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Divine Masculine, you or somebody else could definitely be an Aries or Divine Masculine, you could have Aries in your chart. So this is my card for also um, someone who's praying. This is my card for somebody that's praying, the Three of Wands. This could also be somebody waiting for um, pregnancy test results. Divine Masculine, you're waiting for something. Either way around it, somebody's waiting on something. This can even be like an Amazon delivery, um, UPS, a package to be delivered or something like that. The Three of Wands is a card of waiting. But the thing with the Three of Wands is, it's positive. You're going to get something, you just probably have to wait for it. Or you can see the um, you can see it coming closer and closer. Usually with the Three of Wands, it's a yes. But you might have to wait like a little bit longer with the Three of Wands. So with the Three of Wands, I'm hearing the wait is not in vain. When you Three Wands, the wait is not in vain. It's on its way. Yeah, we got the Five of Swords. So Divine Masculine, you or somebody else could be an air sign. Or somebody could have air in a chart, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Divine Masculine, you could be a fire sign. And it could be an air sign that's trying to defeat you. Or, Divine Masculine, you could be a fire sign and you have an air sign friend. And it's like, Divine Masculine, your friend might um, handle your enemies for you. That five of swords. Or, Divine Masculine, you could be waiting for somebody else to be defeated. You could be waiting for an enemy to be defeated. Divine Masculine, you could be, you could be waiting for justice. Or Divine Masculine, it's like you have a friend that's like protecting you, Divine Masculine. This could be your guardian. Somebody's protecting you, Divine Masculine. It's like this person, it's like Divine Masculine, this person right here is, could be your guardian. And it's like Divine Masculine, your guardian is not going to let these two people right here interrupt you from receiving like your harvest. They're not going to let something bad happen to you. So I'm hearing no interruptions. So Divine Masculine, you're going to receive something in peace. Or you're going to be able to wait for something in peace. Because this three of wands, this man just sitting there in peace. There's no commotion or nothing going on. He's waiting in peace. Yeah. Yeah, the um seven of cups. So, Divine Masculine, you could be a water sign, you're dealing with a water sign, or somebody got water in a chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or Divine Masculine, if you have, like, enemies or something around, it's like Divine Masculine, you could have three haters, enemies, or foes, or karmic. It's like Divine Masculine, your dreams is coming true, you're having a decent week, and it's like your enemies is, like, fighting amongst themselves. Divine Masculine, you're protected from the Five of Swords and the, the, the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Um, I also just heard too, Divine Masculine, you could be going into union. And it's like Divine Masculine, you could have three to seven exes, and they fighting amongst themselves. They not fighting with your divine feminine. Divine Masculine, it's like all your exes just like they like fighting each other. All of them, Divine Masculine. It's like Divine Masculine, you can be at home with your Divine Feminine. You're going into union with your Divine Feminine. Everything is peaceful and cool and cordial with your Divine Feminine. This could even be you um, waiting to see if she's pregnant or not. Divine Masculine, your exes is like fighting amongst themselves. It could be three to seven of your exes. They just fighting amongst themselves. Divine Masculine, I don't know if your exes could have teamed up together. To come up against you and your union and nothing worked. So it's like they just going to start fighting amongst themselves because it didn't work. Or they could have been trying to keep your divine feminine from conceiving. 
Illusions. Somebody having options and love. Illusions. The Seven of Cups could also be spell word. And because of the Seven of Cups, it's some type of bickering and arguing going on. Divine Masculine, it's a friend or something that's like defending you. Or it's like your exes, they are like fighting amongst themselves. But Divine Masculine, you protect them from, from all this drama. Divine Masculine, I also see in the cards, whatever you're doing over the weekend, I mean this week, all this drama that's going on with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups, Divine Masculine, you knew that this was going to happen. So these could be like your exes. Um, or like some men or something that could have been coming up against you. These are haters, enemies, foes, and karmics. It's three to seven people or more. And Divine Masculine, you knew that this was going to happen or you was waiting for this to happen. These people could have been coming up against you, Divine Masculine, and nothing worked. I mean, nothing worked. So they just gonna start fighting amongst themselves. Clarify the seven, the three of wands. Yeah, the star. Yeah. Yeah, Divine Master, you're gonna be able to wait in peace. You're gonna see your ships coming in peace. Divine Master, you might not get exactly what you want this week, but it's coming. And Divine Master, I'm, what I'm hearing is you're going to be able to wait in peace. You okay with having to wait, but the, it's like divine masculine. You like, damn, all I want is peace. Can I at least wait in peace? I know I gotta wait, but can it be peaceful while I wait? And divine masculine, you gonna get your wish granted. You're gonna be able to wait for something in peace. Divine masculine, this could have even been a situation where you had an issue with like your neighbors or something. You, you, um, or somebody else used to order packages, and divine masculine, somebody kept stealing your packages off your porch. Or off your property. It's like Divine Masculine. This week for whatever reason. Your packages are not going to get stolen. Off your porch or off your property. For whatever reason. So I don't know if you put cameras up. I don't know if you confronted these, these thieves. This week or in the past. But it's like Divine Masculine. Nobody's going to um steal your packages this week. Divine Masculine, I'm hearing what, what, whatever drama was going on in the past or maybe even last week, it's not happening this week, Divine Masculine. You're going to be able to wait for something in peace, the star. So Divine Masculine, you could be an Aquarius dealing with an Aquarius or you got Aquarius in your chart. And the star is like all about um, like a peace of mind, um, feeling refreshed, reviving yourself. The star can also be like a dream coming true. The star. The star can also be somebody praying as well. Somebody that has hope and faith. The star. I'm also picking up Divine Masculine. The star has your back. So Divine Masculine, you could be a fire sign. And maybe your friend or somebody. Or your, maybe even your Divine Feminist. She could be an Aquarius. Don't have to be. But this star energy, I heard the star got your back, Divine Masculine. So this star can even be your guardian. This person has your back. And this person is the star. So I'm hearing this could be like an angel of healing. The healing, a, a healing angel. So this guardian is like the star. And Divine Masculine, this star energy got your back. So you can wait for something in peace or you can see your ship come in in peace. Or something like that. Clarify the five of swords. Clarify the five of swords. Yeah, we got the page of cups. <laughs> Alright, so I'm hearing that song by Kodak Black. <laughs> Um, roll in peace. I had to pause the video, but that's the song I started he hearing when I paused the video. I'm gonna post that song in the comment section and the description box. But that's the song I'm channeling. Roll in peace by Kodak Black. So I'm
So anyway, we got the page of cups. So we got more water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So Divine Masculine, um, all together we got eight cups. So somebody is walking away. Somebody is walking away emotionally or literally. This can also be like um, your kids going off to school or college, Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, for some of you guys, this could be your stepkids. Divine Masculine, you could be a little bit tired of your stepkids and you ready for them to go home. So Divine Masculine, I don't know if your stepchildren could have been with you for the summer or your children could have been with you over the summer. And Divine Masculine, you ready for your kids to go back home? Because they was five swords and seven cups the whole summer. They was fighting each other, arguing, competing with each other. They could have been doing drugs, Divine Masculine. Um, your kids could be emotionally immature. Yeah, something like that. Divine Masculine, you want your kids to go back home. You could have had them the whole summer, Divine Masculine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, Divine Masculine, your kids could be leaving for, like, college this week. Or your kids or your stepchildren is going back home. Because, Divine Masculine, you had them for the whole summer. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Divine Masculine, somebody was definitely doing spell work and it could have been candle magic. Divine Masculine, I also see in the cards, somebody thought that they were coming up against you, but they wasn't. They was coming up against spirit. So Divine Masculine, I don't know if somebody could have been trying to undermine you and get pregnant by you. Or these people who, who was doing spell work against you, they could have been emotionally immature or mentally unstable. Yeah, Divine Master, somebody going to realize that they shouldn't have had came up against you. Because it's like th this person or these people, the spell work is not going to work or it's backfiring. Because you got the star here. The star has its back turned to the Page of Cups. It's like Divine Master, somebody thought that they were fighting against you or conning you, but they wasn't fighting against you. They was fighting against spirit. It could even be your guardian, your angel, or ancestor. And Divine Master, your ancestor going to turn your back on this person's request. So Divine Master, I don't know if somebody was trying to call up like entities. Um, Divine Master, I'm also hearing if you're a Jew... It could have been like some fake Jews coming up against you. They're not authentically Jews. They don't have Jewish blood. But they swear up and down they're Jews and they want to compete with you, Divine Masculine. But something is going to happen this week, Divine Masculine, to let these people know that they're not Jews. They don't have Jewish blood. So this, I'm hearing the Messiah in this card. So it's like Divine Masculine, it's like the Most High is going to honor your prayers. But he's not going to honor these people that was coming up against you. So this is kind of like a, a competition a little bit concerning like religion. Or Divine Masculine. Um, I don't know if you and these people is getting like um, test results back to see if you guys are Jews. Um... Or how much Jewish you are. Or how much Jewish blood you have. But Divine Masculine. You waiting in peace. You not arguing with these people. You don't have to do no spell work. To manipulate documents. So it can come back and look like you a Jew. Divine Masculine. You waiting in peace. Because you know you a Jew. That's like Divine Masculine. You not arguing with these people. So Divine Masculine. I don't know if you could have made a bet. With these men. Where y'all was arguing. It's like Divine Masculine, this Page of Cups was trying to plead with your guardian. But your guardian is going to turn their back on this person this week. And, but they're going to honor you, Divine Masculine, and turn their back on like these people that was coming up against you. This could be blood test too, <laughs> Divine Masculine. You and these men, I don't know. 
Yeah, but it's like divine masculine. You already know you are you you have Jewish blood, divine masculine. You already know the star is here. The star got your back, divine masculine. It's like a true fact, a reality. Like you really a Jew, divine masculine, or something like that. And it's like these people trying to do dark magic. They trying to forge some documents. They want their paperwork to come back as they're Jewish. It's not working. Somebody was trying to con like um, an entity, like an organization to falsify some documents. And, and these people not going to do it. Something going on in like a Jewish community. And somebody was trying to get these Jews to falsify documents, but they wouldn't. So the my masculine, this person in five swords is mad. Cause these people gonna be found out to not be Jewish or something like that. Clarify the seven of cups. Oh, then we got the Empress. Yeah, the five of cups. So the white master, I don't know if it could have been a woman trying to say that her child is yours. Or something like that going on. Or Divine Masculine, one of these people, their mother lied to them. Divine Masculine, whoever competing against you, their mother could have lied to them. Because this empress came out sideways. So this woman could have been saying she's Jewish or something like that. And she's not. She could have lied to her sons. They're not really Jewish or something like that. Yeah, this empress has emotional regrets and losses. Or somebody is like adopted. And the truth might come out this week. Somebody's not really somebody's real mother or something. Divine Master, I'm hearing, Divine Master, somebody messing with you or wanting to compete with you or get some type of ancestry documents or get some blood work done. Divine Master, this person bothering you, trying to tell you something about your bloodline, this person going to get their feelings hurt this week. They go, this person going to find out something that they, that they didn't wish they would have known. So somebody might find out that somebody's not really their father. Somebody's going to find out that they're not really Jewish or somebody's going to find out that their mother is not their real mother. It's their adopted mother or something like that. Because if I'm asking this person kept trying to force an issue on you or compete with you. I see that too going on. So this could be like a family fighting or something because somebody going to find out that something somebody going to find out something. Or somebody was raised by a Jewish mother, but this this man's father, he's not Jewish. The mother is Jewish, but the father is not, or something like that. It's an empress out here that was keeping secrets. Or she's not this boy's mother. She could have adopted him and never told him, or something like that. And then we got the page of wands that came out in reverse. So we got more fire energy. Um, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody going to get some bad news. Somebody didn't want somebody to know something. Somebody could have been trying to cause somebody depression on purpose, doing spell work. So it's like somebody was um, doing this on purpose, like causing depression, um, making someone feel insecure about themselves. But somebody going to get bad news this week. The page of wands in reverse because somebody could have had options in love. I'm picking up somebody going, somebody was trying to play games and this person going to push and push and push the issue. And when the results come back, this person going to wish that they didn't push the issue. Cause it's like this person was trying to compete with you, divine masculine, but they started with you. They started it, divine masculine. So it's like divine masculine, either way it go. Divine Masculine, this person getting bad news is actually going to be four wands for you. Something is going to stabilize you. Divine Masculine, whether you Jewish or not, Divine Masculine, you might get paternity results back this week. And you're going to find out that that baby is yours. 
So you might reconcile with your divine feminine or divine masculine. It could have been like a karmic saying that your divine feminine's baby was his and it's not as yours, divine masculine. So somebody getting bad news this week is actually going to be four of wands for you, divine masculine. So you might reconcile with your divine feminine. You might find out the baby yours, divine masculine. Um, so it's a man out here that was hoping and praying that the baby was his. But it's not his. Divine masculine, that baby is yours or something like that. Yeah, so somebody's bad news is actually going to be able to stabilize you. Because Divine masculine, you was waiting. So Divine masculine, this could even be this woman. She might find out she's not pregnant. Divine masculine, this woman wanted her pregnancy test to come back positive. But it might be negative. And Divine Masculine, that's still stability for you. Divine Masculine, this could be your karmic lover. And it's like Divine Masculine, when you find out this woman not pregnant, you might go back and reconcile with your Divine Feminine. Or you're just going to be happy. Something's going to stabilize you. Something's going to bring you stability, Divine Masculine. So this is a negative pregnancy test or a positive pregnancy test. One man is the father, the other man is not. Somebody is a Jew and somebody else is not a Jew or something like that going on. Some type of competition, but somebody was waiting for results. Or y'all could have been arguing about religion or something like that. The most high is going to answer somebody's prayer and somebody else's prayer is not going to get answered. Something like that is happening. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Divine Masculine, I also see who whoever these karmics are, haters, enemies, or foes. Divine Masculine, somebody, Divine Masculine, say like for an example, somebody kept stealing off of your property. It's like Divine, Divine Masculine, I see these people is going to get distracted from um, causing you harm. Because it's like Divine Masculine, somebody might get into a brawl with their family. So Divine Masculine, say like you get a package delivery every day. Whatever your packages are. Divine Masculine, this could even be your place of work. You get like deliveries every day. And it's like Divine Masculine, every day somebody comes and steal your stuff. But this week, Divine Masculine, these people are not going to be able to come and steal your stuff. Because they're having like family issues. Somebody going to find out a baby not his. Somebody going to find out they adopted. <laughs> so it's like Divine Masculine, you going to be able to do something in peace because these people is like this. They're distracted by like family issues or something. This is also their karma. Yeah. Divine Masculine, if, especially if you a business owner. And Divine Masculine, these people kept stealing from you. Or finessing you, Divine Masculine, say like you own a restaurant and you will order five pounds of cheese. It's like Divine Masculine, these people would take your money and only give you like two pounds of cheese. Somebody was like jipping you or something. Something like that. But it's like something going to happen this week and it's like part of their karma. They're going to get distracted from like offending you short changing you whatever this is all right so i had to pause pause the camera too many cars ended up on the floor so divine masculine what i'm picking up is somebody was offending you and divine masculine this week you get into the point or you or you was preparing to like take these people to court divine masculine spirit could be telling you to wait this your angel answer to wait because divine masculine Say like you own a restaurant, Divine Masculine. And the same three people, it's the same. You get the same three delivery drivers, Divine Masculine. It's the same ones. Divine Masculine, maybe for the past three weeks, three months, three years, these people has been stealing, stealing from your produce or whatever this is, the items or whatever this is. It's like Divine Masculine, you're going to get proof this week that it's them that's stealing. Because they're not going to show up to work. And it's like Divine Masculine. You have new delivery drivers. 
And you're going to get all your produce, like, magically. Because these three delivery drivers is not um, going to be in the truck. It's going to be some new delivery drivers. And Divine Masculine, you're not going to have an issue this week. So Divine Masculine Spirit could be telling you to wait so you can prove your point in, 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 in court or something like that. Because Divine Masculine, something is going to speak for itself. Something is going to speak for the for itself. So Divine Masculine, I'm hearing maybe start the, the court proceedings next week and not this week. Because something um, substantial is going to happen that's going to work in your favors like some, some evidence, Divine Masculine. So I'm hearing let this week play out. So like I said, Divine Masculine, you could have been keeping notes for like the past three months. You've been keeping notes for the past three weeks. And it's like Divine Masculine, you got the same delivery drivers and every day for the past three weeks, you missing product, you missing produce, things is going missing. Divine Masculine, this week, these three thieves is not going to be on the job. And your stuff is not going to go missing. And Divine Masculine, you're going to be able to document that. Because it's like so obvious. Because it's like, why have the Divine Masculine been experiencing theft for the past three weeks consistently when, when y'all was delivering Divine Masculine's merchandise or produce or whatever you call it? It's like Divine Masculine got proof for the past three weeks, it's, it's been y'all. Y'all the delivery drivers. Divine Masculine been missing food and pr products, everything. But Divine Masculine, this week you have um, three different delivery drivers and nothing is going to go missing. Nothing is going to go missing. Like something like that going on. So Divine Masculine, I don't know if these three people right here might get fired or somebody else could be also bringing up an accusation against these three people. So it's like Divine Masculine Spirit could be telling you to wait. Because you're going to get some more evidence that's going to help your case. Like something like that. So I'm I'm picking up Divine Masculine. Give it another week or two. Because you're going to Divine Masculine, say like if you knew these people were stealing from you and you was complaining. Divine Masculine, other companies or other business owners is going to start complaining about these three. So it's not going to be only your complaint or something like that. Spirit wants you to wait so you will be able to have solid evidence when you bring forth your paperwork or your proof or something like that. Yeah, somebody going to get bad news, Divine Master. The Page of Wands in Reverse is bad news. Yep. Um, Divine Masculine, this Five of Swords could have been like an independent contractor that you was working with. And this man's truck might break down as well. This man's truck might break down. Or something like that gonna happen. And Divine Masculine, you might have to rehire like some, like a new contractor or something to deliver your, your, um, stuff. Your produce or your product. Yeah, these people, I'm seeing like this car gonna like go up in flames. Or it's like going to start smoking. This man's truck or something going to start smoking. And he going to get bad news because he's not going to be able to work this week, Divine Master. All right. What's this for with the three of wands and the star? Yeah, a role model. Being an inspiration to others, having positive recognition from a lot of people. Yeah. Divine Masculine, somebody was stealing from you. And it was costing you. Divine Masculine, I don't know if because these people were stealing from you, that you had to come out of your pocket and you, like, took a loss twice. Or Divine Masculine, because these people were stealing from you, you had to go back and tell your people that things was missing. It was going to be short. You couldn't play, pay your, your, you couldn't pay your employees. Divine Masculine, you suffer a loss in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And it's like, Divine Masculine, people probably lost respect for you because these other people were stealing from you. And it wasn't your fault. 
or divine masculine you just you took losses so the, it's like divine masculine you took losses and then to compensate for the loss until you find found out where the loss was coming from to compensate you had to come out of your own personal pocket So divine masculine, you could have even um you could have hired like a private investigator or something too, divine masculine. Because it's like divine masculine, you're a role model. You don't have time for like confusion going on in your home or at work. Because you're a role model. Being an inspiration to others, having positive recognition from a lot of people. Yeah, divine masculine, somebody was like, um, Tarnishing your reputation because they were stealing from you. And it's like you didn't know where it was coming from or you didn't know how to catch them or something like that. Divine Masculine, you could have even been losing business because of your workers. It could have been your own workers that was giving you a bad rep and you didn't know that. And you might find out this week. It could have been your own workers or something. And Divine Masculine, you won't be shocked. I don't know if these are your kids, Divine Masculine. You could have had your kids working in the family business. And it's like, Divine Masculine, your kids was acting like you never raised them. When you find out what your kids was doing behind your back, your adult kids. Divine Masculine, you might like fire your adult kids or something. You might, if this is like a family business and Divine Masculine, your kids might bring you shame or disappointment because they was doing something they know better. Divine Masculine, you raised them better than that. And it's like you was losing clients or people was losing respect for you or they didn't want to invest into your company because of something your kids was doing behind your back, Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, you might even tell your kids, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. What about your mother? But me, what about your mother? Um, Divine Masculine, your wife, your Divine Feminine, she could be um, very well known in the community or something. So this role model could like be your Divine Feminine. This could have brought your Divine Feminine shame or she's embarrassed because of your y'all kids or something. Something they doing. Um, <laughs> Divine Masculine, if these are your children, like your adult children, Divine Masculine, you might, like your community might shun your kids. Something going to happen, like a little bit of discipline or shame is like going to fall on your kids or something like that. They, it's like they're going to be ashamed of themselves. Or Divine Masculine, you might fire them or make them move out of your home or something. And it's like Divine Masculine, they can't believe it. Or something. It's like Divine Masculine, if these are your kids, you're going to have to show them tough love this week, your kids. Yeah. Yeah, some type of tough love. Or it's like Divine Masculine, you might expose your like your own children. Because it was a whole bunch of confusion. And Divine Masculine, if these are your children that was like stealing from you, stealing from the books, messing up the numbers, it's like Divine Masculine, you're going to publicly and like let everybody know it was them and not you. Because it's like Divine Masculine, your kids wanted it to look like it was you. And you like a businessman, Divine Masculine. Yes, yeah, you, yeah, some type of embarrassment a little bit, Divine Masculine, you won't do to your kids. Or something like that. Or it's like Divine Masculine, you, you might um cut your kids out of your will. Or something. Or you the something might go on with your will this week as well, Divine Masculine. Your will. If you don't come if you don't completely cut your kids out of your will, it's like Divine Masculine, you, they're not gonna get as much as you originally put in your will. You're going to reduce the amount or reduce the estate that they can have or something like that. 
And Divine Masculine, you might give the rest of it to like charity or something. Or something like that. Yeah, then we got talking good shit. <clears throat> People like what you got going on talking about your achievements, accolades. Yeah. Divine Masculine, you're going to get karmic justice this week. Divine Masculine, somebody could have been gossiping or giving you and or your Divine Feminine a bad rep. But your name is going to get cleared this week. It's like, Divine Masculine, this is your neighbors talking like about what happened in your family. So, it's like your neighbor saying, yeah, remember what was happening with Divine Masculine business? That wasn't Divine Masculine. It was his kids. Yeah, yeah. And then the lady going to be like, oh, it makes sense. It was the kids. Yeah, it was them kids. We should have known it was them. So, it's like Divine Masculine. People going to feel sorry for, like, misjudging you and shunning you in town. Because they might find out it was your kids. Or they're going to find out it wasn't you that was stealing. It was like these people you was um, working with. So people going to get the truth. And they're going to be like, oh, that's what happened. Okay. So to my masculine, you're going to get some. Um, you're going to get karmic justice. Your name is going to be clear. A misunderstanding, some spell work, somebody lying on you, divine masculine. It's going to get cleared up. And people is going to um, start back talking good shit about you. Yeah. What's the spill with the five of swords with the page of cups? Intelligent. Divine Master, I'm also picking up that a murder or something could have happened in your town. Or it could have happened in the past. And Divine Masculine, it could have been some people gossiping about your family and saying that you did it or one of your kids did it, and it wasn't true. So this week, Divine Masculine, they might actually find the killer. And it's like people going to be talking about your family like, oh my God, it really wasn't Divine Masculine or his kids. It was so-and-so. Yeah, Divine Masculine, something could have happened in the past or like a long time ago. And the town was saying that you did it or like one of your kids or something did it. And it, it wasn't true. Divine Masculine, your name is going to get cleared from something like a lie or something. Or Divine Masculine, if you are Jewish, it was like some fake Jews was telling people that you was a fake Jew. Or something like that. But it wasn't you. It was them. But Divine Masculine... These people that came up against you, it was very well thought out. This was like very organized crime. They were very intelligent. But Divine Masculine, what these people didn't realize that they can't outdo the 5D. They can't outdo the 5D, Divine Masculine. So Divine Masculine, whoever these people was that was coming up against you, their plan was very well thought out. It was very intelligent. Divine Masculine, you would have, you would have like never figured this out. But it's your familiar, your guardian who might expose these um, crooks, these liars. Because it was like intelligent. It was like organized crime. Yeah, Divine Masculine, they was playing you. These people, they was playing you like chess. But this week, Divine Masculine, your angel or ancestor going to put an end to that. Somebody could have been trying to get somebody to, like, falsify something. So, this could be, like, blood tests, credit reports. Um, Divine Master, I don't know if it could have been the authorities coming up against you. Like, the FBI, DEA, or something. Somebody going to get exposed. Somebody going to get exposed. And it's going to be shame on them. All right. What's the spell with the seven of cups and the page of wands in reverse? Yeah, off the grid. Being cooped up in their room, not socializing, being a hermit, not on social media. 
Divine Masculine, this is what somebody wanted to do to you. Divine Masculine, somebody wanted you to close down your business, be intimidated, leave town, um, leave your Divine Feminine, stop thinking you a Jew, stop acting like a Jew, you not a Jew. Somebody wanted you to go off the grid, and this could have even been to leave town or something. Or somebody wanted you to stop being a business owner or something like that. This is what somebody wanted for you, Divine Masculine. You and or your family. But Divine Masculine, it's going to happen to them this week. Divine Masculine, somebody wanted you to run away and tuck your tail. All right, so I kind of forgot where I was at because I had to pause the video. Some drama going on outside. People crazy. So off the grid, yeah. Divine Master, I'm also picking up something overseas. Somebody was like scamming you overseas or something. Or it was like a third party. But it could have been like overseas or something. So this could have been the energy that was like... um like the ring leader it's like somebody was working with you divine mask and they were stealing from you and then giving it to this person that's off the grid or something like that so i also just heard divine masculine this person that was coming up against you they're not they're not even on social media they're not on social media. They off the grid. But this week, Divine Masculine, something's going to be reversed. Somebody's getting karma. And this person that's off the grid, this person don't be on social media. They getting bad news. Because somebody might go to jail as well. That Five of Swords energy might end up in jail. So I don't know if this is like... um. I don't know if somebody could be a pimp. I don't know if somebody is like drug trafficking, human trafficking. But it's like the ring leader, the one that's in charge, he's off the grid. And he got the five of swords working with him. And they was coming up against you, Divine Masculine. But the five of swords might get caught or end up in jail. Because of intelligence, this could even be like the DEA or the authority. So somebody might end up in prison and this person that's off the grid, the one that was causing the illusion, this person going to get bad news. So the I'm asking, you could have been getting offended by somebody that don't even live in the same country as you. For some of y'all, this person don't live in the same country as you. Yeah, something like that going on. Or Divine Masculine, you order your projects. Not your projects. You order your... um. Divine Masculine, you order your products, your merchandise from overseas. Or something like that. Yeah. Tell me more spill about Off The Grid. Tell me more spill about that. But somebody gonna get bad news. Yeah, fake friends. Yep. So this could this could have been fake business partners or something. Pretends to be buddy buddy when you come around, but talk smack about you when you leave. So this could be somebody in business, um, or some neighbors or something. If I'm asking somebody that don't be on social media is like a fake friend to you. I don't know if this, people was, this person was going around telling people that they knew you and they didn't even know you. Or it's like Divine Masculine, a business partner was like getting too much in your personal business. And making people think that they know you outside of business, but this person don't know you outside of business. Or something like that. Or Divine Masculine, one of your business partners, somebody you do business with, this person could have like stole your identity or something. 
stole your kid's identity or stole your divine feminine identity or something like that. And it was hard to catch them because it was like overseas or something like that. All right, so give me a charm card for the Three of Wands, the Star, Role Model, and Talking Good Shit. Yeah, X Mystery Joy. Yeah, Divine Masculine, um, you're waiting for Christmas, something to do with Christmas. Or Divine Masculine, this week, something feels like Christmas to you. Or Divine Masculine, you're, you're like a kid before the night before Christmas. Or Divine Masculine, you're waiting on something that you've been waiting for since Christmas or something. And Divine Masculine, you might get news that is coming. Like, you might get good news that something is coming to you. And you could have been waiting for this since Christmas. Or this week, Divine Masculine, your peace of mind is going to feel like Christmas. Some type of joy. You're going to have joy this week, Divine Masculine. Or whatever somebody stole from you, Divine Masculine, you're going to get compensated. Or you're getting, like, the good news that something is guaranteed. You're going to get confiscated for some type of theft. Or something like that. But joy this week for you, Divine Master. Or something to do with Christmas. Um, you could have been waiting for this since Christmas. And you might get promising news this week. Or something. Give me a charm card for the Five of Swords, the Page of Cups, and Intelligent. Yeah, Zebra Unique. Yeah. Yeah, this was organized crime. Whatever this is, it was very subtle. It was very evil. It was very wicked. It was very slick intelligent with zebra unique this is organized crime and divine masculine spirit not with it i'm hearing god don't like ugly they were slick but god don't like ugly this was ugly this was not right divine masculine whatever these people did to you yeah it was like organized crime it was very organized i heard high profile high profile So to my masculine, I, I don't know what this is. If somebody was trying to get somebody to fa falsify some documents. Divine masculine, I don't know if somebody paid somebody to say that a child wasn't yours and it wasn't true. Some, something was like high profile or something to do with intelligence. I'm picking up a lab with blood work or ancestral work or smears, uh, things like that. Yeah, but whoever the star is, um, I'm hearing the Messiah, um, the Messiah is against what these people did or divine masculine. If you're a Jew or what, what divine masculine, if you were Jew, it was your own people that did this to you. So these people could be Jews just like you divine masculine, but it was a reason why they didn't like you. So divine masculine, whatever this betrayal is, this disrespect, this crime is. It was your own people. But Divine Masculine, it's going to be a distinction this week that they were wrong and you was right. And the Most High is going to favor you and deliver you. And these people is going to get their karma. Divine Masculine, it don't matter. If you black, it was your people that did this against you, Divine Masculine. If you white, it was your own kind that did this to you. But this week, the Most High is going to favor the person that's in the right. And Divine Masculine, it looked like it's you. Yeah. The most that's what the most high do. He's gonna favor the one that's in the right. When it get down to when it's time for justice, he's gonna favor the one that's in the right. All right. Um, what's this give me a charm card for the seven of cups, the page of wines and reverse off the grid and face fake friends. Divine Master, I'm also hearing this could have been like some people that was um, using your kids to come up against you. Or somebody was um, manipulating your children to infiltrate your business or something. 
But we have bottle information. Yeah. <clears throat> Divine Masculine, whoever your fake friends are, whoever these people that was coming up against you, they're not going to get the information that they want. Or Divine Masculine, this person or these people are going to get some information and it's going to be bad news. Something to do with information. Or Divine Masculine, somebody in the past was giving you mis, uh, misguided information. Divine Masculine, somebody was giving you false information in the past. And they're going to get karma for that. Divine Masculine, I'm also picking up somebody was giving you spells. Like they were shipping you or they was doing spell work or dark magic over your produce or something like that. It's like they shipped this spell like in a bottle or like they shipped it to you like with your products or something. It was like a spell or something or some like dark magic or something. It's like this person's information, Divine Masculine, was spell work. Yeah, they sent the, I'm hearing Divine Masculine, they sent the spell work through information. And it infiltrated your home or your business. That's how they were able to do it through information or something like that. The information was spell work. And I just looked at this card, some type of intelligence. And this could be dark intelligence, like of darkness. I don't know these people, Satan worshipers. Or, um, something like that. I'm hearing fake Jews. I keep hearing that. They were fake Jews. So, their information was like dark and in dark intelligence or something like that. It's very unique, but it's like, uh, it's very demonic. Or something like that. Yeah, but Divine Masculine, your hater, enemy, or foe, or karmic is going to get karma this week. And they're going to know by some type of information. So somebody's getting karma. Divine Masculine, the same way they gave it to you, that's how they're going to get it. Divine Masculine, I'm also picking up two. The, one of the ways that this person is going to get karma is because you're going to go off the grid. You're going to go off the grid. So, Divine Masculine, you might abruptly, like, shut down your business. You could have an online business, or you're not going to order products online from this specific company. You might get a whole nother um, vendor or something. So, Divine Masculine, you might just go off the grid. Or something like that. You might come off social media. Yeah. So, let me see something. Give me a charm card for this familiar, this guardian. Yeah, something to do with medical. Yeah. So, the Vine Master, I don't know if you, um, you could have a weed dispensary. Or Divine Master, you a doctor or something? You work for a doctor's office? Or you do, you work in a lab or something, Divine Master? And Divine Master, somebody you was doing business with, they was like um, doing something like inhumane that almost cost you like your license or your reputation. So this is something to do with medical. So Divine Master, you probably work in the medical arena. Or Divine Master, like I said, somebody was trying to get somebody to falsify like some medical charts or somebody's birth certificate or blood work or something. Somebody was trying to do something slick. It has something to do with medical. So Divine Master, Divine Master, this guardian, this familiar, this energy, your angels or ancestor, Divine Master, I don't know if somebody was trying to kill you. So, Divine Master, I'm picking up, if you have a doctor's appointment this week or like a surgery, this angel is going to be with you. So, Divine Master, I don't know if somebody was was planning for you to pass away under this anesthesia or during this surgery. 
But this angel is going to be here, be there with you. And it's something to do with medical. Or Divine Master, I don't know if your kids was trying to... I don't know if they was wanted, wanted something bad to happen to you so they can get your life insurance or something. Oh, man, Divine Master. Something like that going on. Something to do with medical. So if I'm asking, this angel or ancestor is here or your intuition. If I'm asking, you probably have to wait, like, to reschedule, like, a surgery or something. If I'm asking, your doctor might get arrested. So, like, re wait to, wait, reschedule a surgery or something. Somebody could have been purchasing um, Divine Masculine. If you live in the United States, it could have been a doctor that was purchasing medication from other countries that's not approved from the United States to save money. That could cause harm to his patients. Somebody could have been ordering medicine off, off like the charts or something. And it's not FDA approved or something like that. Yeah, it was a yeah, this is something to do with medical as well. Or divine master, you own a weed dispensary. And I don't know if a drug lord or something wanted to do business with you. Wanted you to do illegal business with him. Or this drug lord was trying to um blackmail you or something, Divine Master. This could be medical weed. Divine Master, you probably own a weed dispensary or something. And somebody that's off the grid, possibly overseas, was doing something. Divine Master, I don't know if this man was having his drugs, his weed put in your dispensary and you didn't know it. Something like that going on. And Divine Master, your weed dispensary or your doctor's office might come under scrutiny because of something that your workers was doing that you didn't know about or something like that going on. This is like the medical field or like medical weed. Like a weed dispensary or something. Or Divine Masculine, a drug lord was trying to bully you or something. To make you do business with him or something. What in the world? Give me, what's the spill with this medical and familiar with this guardian? Yeah, purpose. Yeah. Divine Masculine, whatever this is, this is happening for a reason. This could be your life purpose. Divine Masculine, if you a doctor or you could be a lab technician, a scientist, whatever this is concerning medical Divine Masculine, it might lead you to your purpose or you're smack dab in the middle of your purpose. And somebody was trying to like ruin your reputation or something. Someone who knows what they are meant to do in life, understands their life mission, plays no games, has the facts. Yeah. Divine Masculine, somebody could have been trying to um, jeopardize your integrity or infiltrate your business. Yeah, somebody was trying to do something. This medical stuff is like your life purpose, Divine Masculine. And you don't play. You don't do things that's inhumane. That's unethical. Divine Masculine, you stick to the books with your patients. Divine Masculine, with you, it's like you don't care about the money. It's your patient's health first. You care about people. It's not always about the money. So, Divine Masculine, I don't know if you could have had a co-worker that was doing things inhumane or illegal to save y'all money. And Divine Masculine, you was being authentic and maybe your co-worker could have been trying to come up against you. Because you didn't want to be trifling like them or be fraud fraudulent like them or something like that. Yeah, Divine Masculine, this medical stuff is your life purpose. And this could also be spiritually, this medical. So, Divine Masculine, I don't know if you could be a teacher, a rabbi, or Divine Masculine, your father could be a rabbi. This is in your blood. You could be a pillar of your community. This medical can also be spiritual. And Divine Masculine, whatever you is, it's in your blood. It's in your blood. That's who you is. And, and, and you serious about your calling, your bloodline, being a Jew, being a leader, being a father, a business owner. Divine Masculine, this is your overall energy, the Messiah. 
serving humanity with humility. So you care about people, not necessarily the money. Or something like that, Divine Masculine. Yeah, Divine Masculine, somebody could have been coming up against you. Because they wanted you to do something fraudulent. And you wouldn't do it. So this person was like planning your de demise. Or they was getting like your kids involved or something like that. Then we got acting a fool. Someone who knows they are being childish and goofy but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. So Divine Master, I don't know if you could be married and this could be like one of your child's mothers from like back in the day. And she was doing something. Mm, yeah. But Divine Master, I'm going to end it. But Divine Master, your angels is telling you to wait because um, you got like a Judas around you, Divine Master. Yeah, your angels answer is to wait. So, Divine Masculine, I don't know if one of your co-workers, your fellow doctors, they want you to hurry up and buy some supplies, or somebody wants you to hurry up and get a surgery. Divine Masculine, I, I think you should wait, because somebody might get caught and end up in jail. Yeah. Or somebody want to hurry up and partner with you or something. Somebody wants you to hurry up and sign some documents or something, Divine Masculine. Mm-mm. The angels are saying, wait. And I'm hearing Divine Masculine, you're going to find joy in waiting. This is where your joy is at. Waiting. Yeah. Divine Master, I also just heard somebody wanted to beef with you, Divine Master. Somebody had a problem with you. Because y'all could have been arguing about religion or spirituality. And um, somebody probably don't believe in Christmas or somebody don't um practice somebody don't believe in christmas so this drama could have started <sighs> so somebody could be of a different race a different um spirituality a different culture and somebody didn't like something you said divine master about christmas so divine master you could be of a different culture and divine master maybe it could be a jew coming up against you because they don't believe in Christmas and you do or something? Divine Masculine, I'm also picking up too because I'm seeing it another way. Divine Masculine, it could have been a Jewish person coming up against you and they feel as though because they're a Jew that they can mistreat you because you're not a Jew, Divine Masculine. But the Most High is going to do what's right. Just because somebody is a Jew doesn't necessarily mean that the Most High is going to allow an injustice to happen. Whoever is wrong is wrong. Whoever is right is right. Whether you a Jew or not. So I also see that too. So Divine Master, you could be like, um, Divine Master, you don't have to be Jewish, but you could be a Christian. And you was dealing with this Jew, and this Jew is like an Orthodox Jew. They don't believe in Yeshua, but Divine Master, you do. So somebody could have been coming up against you, Divine Masculine, because of, like, religion. Or y'all had an argument or something. Yeah, something like that going on. But Divine Masculine, whatever the issue is, the angel, your angel answer is to wait. And Divine Masculine, this message is saying stay focused. Hold the course. Divine Masculine, I don't know if somebody could be harassing your kids. I don't know if somebody was trying to sex traffic your kids into a situation. Mm. Divine Master, I'm picking up. You're going to be able to wait in peace. So somebody might end up in jail because of like intelligence. And this could be the FBI. This could be a spy, a person, uh, um, a private investigator, the FBI, DEA, the cops or whatever. Yeah, somebody might go to jail. This could be somebody's adult child coming up against them. Or this is somebody who's emotionally immature. Or one of these people might be pregnant. One of these women might be pregnant. 
and she gonna end up going to jail with the rest of these men. She pregnant, but she going to jail with the rest of these men. I'm seeing that too. It's a woman out here that's pregnant and she thinks she not going to jail because she pregnant. She going to jail too with the rest of these men. Yeah. And she praying and asking God for mercy because she pregnant. No, Divine Masculine, this woman was coming up against you whether she pregnant or not. She going to jail. Yeah, she think the most high gonna have mercy on her because she pregnant. Yeah. Mm, yep. Or Divine Masculine, one of your sons could have got this woman pregnant. But she was like an enemy. She was a Judas. And she could have been coming up against your family with these other men. And your son could have got this woman pregnant, Divine Masculine. And she think it's going to save her, but it's not. She going to jail with the rest of these men. Whoever was coming up against you and your family, Divine Masculine. You hear this woman asking for mercy because she pregnant. She praying and telling the Most High, I'm pregnant. Please don't let them throw the book at me. I'm pregnant. Please. The Most High going to turn it back on this woman's prayer because she talking about she pregnant or divine masculine somebody wanted to sacrifice your child and the most high is like i think not i'm gonna turn my back on that i'm not answering that request your spell work is not gonna work i'm shutting down everything nothing is working divine masculine somebody wanted to sacrifice your child too yeah i see that too so this could have even been sacrificing them to like sex trafficking or somebody who could have been trying to pimp your daughter, Divine Masculine. And the Most High is like hell to the no. No. The Most High going to turn their back on this. Somebody wanted to sacrifice. And they was offering up like prayers and things like that. And the star is like, no, no. I put, I'm going in favor of Divine Masculine. Because I'm familiar with Divine Masculine. I don't know y'all karmic. I don't know y'all. So I'm not answering y'all prayer. And y'all dark magic not going to work neither. So I'm familiar with my Divine Masculine. I know Divine Masculine. I'm Divine Masculine's guardian. I don't know who you is, Page of Cups and Five of Swords. I don't know y'all. So I don't know. Somebody might go to hell too. Divine Master, somebody might go to hell and they're, they're going to be judged. And the Most High going to say, I never knew you when they get there. I see that too. Somebody is facing judgment. Divine Master, somebody wanted you to pass away this week, but they're going to pass away. And they're going to face judgment immediately. And the Most High is going to say, I never knew you. So these people was like Jews or they were fake Jews or something like that. The Most High going to say, I never, I don't know you. I know Divine Masculine, the one who you was trying to offend. You tried to cause him a premature death, but I don't know you. So Divine Masculine Spirit going to give you life. I don't, Divine, I don't even want to say what I see in these cards. Mm. Divine Masculine, you going, if something tragic happened, God forbid, but Divine Masculine, if something tragic happened... You're going to survive, and your offenders is not. And, and they're going straight to hell, Divine Masculine. And when they get there, the Most High going to say, I don't know you. I never knew you. You claiming you a Jew. You claiming this. You claiming that. You claiming you love people. But I didn't. I never knew you when you was on earth. I, 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 I don't know who you is. But Divine Masculine Spirit going to say, I know who Divine Masculine is. And Divine Masculine Spirit going to come in your energy and give, put life back in your body. That's what I see happening too. Yep. Something like that going on. So the Divine Masculine, this could even be a situation where um, these people like put like a death ritual on you while you was under surgery or while you was asleep. And the Divine Masculine Spirit going to leave these two and come to you. And like give you back life or he's going to command these angels to come and give you back life or something like that. Yeah, Divine Master, somebody was trying to take your soul, take your life from you. Yeah. Um, Divine Master, for some of y'all, you or somebody else, your loved one might end up in a coma. And Divine Master, Spirit is saying, don't pull it. Wait. Don't put, don't take this person off of life support. Wait, 
Because spirit is going to send a familiar spirit and your, your loved one is going to come back to life off of child support. I mean, off of life support. So something could have been about child support. Somebody could have tried to do harm to somebody because of child support. So this could be baby daddy, baby, mom, baby mama drama, child support, alimony, things like that. This could have been somebody's child's mother who did this. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's being defeated. Somebody's being defeated. The Five of Swords. This can also be death. The Five of Swords. I also see in the cards, Divine Masculine. It's too late for this person or these people to apologize. It's too late. Somebody wanted to apologize, but it's too late. Or somebody wanted to have your baby, Divine Masculine, or something like that, but it's like too late. So Divine Masculine, somebody might pass away or somebody's going to jail. But for some of you guys, Divine Masculine, somebody going to pass away. And I heard it and I saw it. Spirit going to say, I, I don't know you. I know Divine Masculine. I'm about to go give Divine Masculine back life. I'll be back. I got something I got to do or the most high is going to command this angel or your ancestor divine masculine to like stay by your side while you're in this coma or something. But these two people going to get judged. Because divine masculine, these people wanted to be you or they was claiming to be you and they're not. And, the, and, and, and they going to get confirmation from the most high. The most high going to say, I, I don't know you. I know divine masculine, but I don't know you. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Divine Masculine. Somebody, oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody trying to say sorry to the Most High. Somebody could be trying to repent and it's too late. That star is the Most High. Somebody trying to repent and it's too late. Yeah. And Divine Masculine, you're going to be able to wait for something in peace or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something too late. Somebody was emotionally immature or this person was pregnant. Or something like that, this woman. But I'm going to end it. Or Divine Masculine, somebody could have tried to get your daughter into sex trafficking or tried to pimp her or something like that. Mm. Somebody getting karma. But I'm going to end it for my phone die. So to my mask, and that's what I have going on with you for over the weekend. I mean, the week. Something could be going down over the weekend, too, because I keep saying the weekend. I also just heard, too, Divine Masculine, you're intuitive, and these people is not. So Divine Masculine, these people are karmic. So, Divine Masculine, you going to get yourself out of danger. These people don't have the sense enough to escape danger, to escape death. But you are Divine Masculine or something like that. Because they're not intuitive, Divine Masculine. And Divine Masculine, this guardian right here, that cat, this is intuition. This is intuition. So, Divine Masculine, you have like, um, um... Ooh, let me be quiet. <laughs> Something going on on the 5D too. Something going on, but I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna get into, I'm not gonna get into that. But something going on on the 5D too. Yeah. So, let me end it. So, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And Divine Masculine, enjoy the remainder of your week and thanks.